my professor at the time, Khadija Stewart, really encouraged me to stick with it because she saw potential in me that I didn't necessarily see in myself. And so um, after the second class I took in computer science, I felt pretty comfortable and um, confident that this was a good career path for me to take. Khadija Stewart was my um, professor for the Intro to Computer Science class, and I felt like I was horrible at it. I really struggled quite a bit with grasping some of the concepts, but it was really new to me, and so she knew that this is something that's common to most students who take this class, but I can see you working through it and I can see you understanding uh, these concepts pretty quickly. And if you just continue on and keep pushing through, you'll get it. And so slowly but surely, because she put that confidence in me, I was like, okay, she said I could do it. I believe her. <laughs> and there were moments, especially further down in my career, even post-graduation where um, I was a software developer, developer before I decided to teach. And so there were moments where I really struggled like with being one of very few women or one of very few people of color um, on some of my teams. And so having those same mentors who have experienced those things as well and have seen the growth, um, keeping me, I guess, grounded and able to continue to push through and step up and be confident in my roles, no matter what they have been as I've progressed. And this has been an ongoing, I guess, thing I've had to build in myself is knowing that I'm here for a reason and that um, I have to be confident in my skills at whatever point I am. I can't compare myself to other students who may have gotten an A on the exam when I got a B or the upperclassman who's gotten an internship or a job at Microsoft. Like I am where I'm supposed to be at the moment. I'm supposed to be there and so I should take every opportunity to learn and grow and continue to explore the different options that I have, the different skills that I'm building, and just be confident in where I am now and knowing that I'll grow and be a better developer, student, software developer, whatever it may be in the future. One of my favorite things that we've done and that I continued on even after I graduated was doing outreach for younger students. So in middle school, even I think at one point we worked with kindergartners on like robots and so getting them to see these computer science topics and concepts um, at such a young age was really great. So after I graduated and every job that I've had since graduation, I've made sure that there was some element of outreach that I would be able to participate in. And if there wasn't one, I wanted to create it. So I started an internship program at one of the companies that I worked for so that college students could come and get some real work experience um, during their undergraduate years. And so. I just always found that that was really rewarding for me. And so even though I wasn't teaching then, I was still finding ways to do that, which is why I'm really glad that I'm at this position that I am now where I'm teaching full time. It's different now being a mentor almost full time as a teacher. <laughs> and so um, I really enjoy that aspect of it, just having students come to me for things even outside of the classroom, um, asking for advice maybe on preparing for interviews or um, resume assistance, even simple things just like, I was really considering doing this, what do you think? And so I really enjoy being able to have students trust in me to give them advice and then even seeing them take that advice as well.